I'm Jeb Butler with the Butler Law Firm. This video is part two in our series about the types of insurance that we see in personal injury accident cases in Georgia. The types of insurance that we talk about here apply to all different kinds of accidents that involve automobiles, whether they're car wrecks, truck collisions, pedestrian accidents, motorcycle accidents, or bicycle accidents. We've already covered three of the more common types of insurance uh, policies that we see. Today we'll cover a few of the still prevalent but less common types of insurance in Georgia accident cases. The first is a commercial vehicle policy, and that means just what it sounds like. It's an automotive insurance policy that applies to a commercial vehicle. And we see this most often in the context of motor carriers, like tractor trailers or some box trucks and some other vehicles. Um, these types of insurance policies typically have higher limits than personal auto policies. If a motor carrier engages in interstate commerce, that is, they regularly cross state lines in the context of their work, as do most well-known tractor trailer companies, then they have to have a, uh, a commercial uh, auto policy that has at least $750,000 in liability coverage, and often it's even more than that. If a motor carrier does only intrastate commerce, that's I-N-T-R-A-S-T-A-T-E commerce, they operate only within Georgia, then they can have less. They can have as little as $100,000 in liability coverage, but often they have more than that. Next is excess. Some particularly large companies will have excess policies over and above their commercial vehicle policies. For instance, a really large tractor trailer company will probably have um, a commercial vehicle policy that might be, say, one, two, three million dollars. And then if damages are up and above that in a really significant case, then they may have an excess policy of five, ten, or fifteen million dollars that kicks in on top of the commercial vehicle policy. Another type of insurance policy that we see uh, when businesses are involved is what we call a CGL, or commercial general liability policy. A lot of businesses, uh, including smaller businesses, have CGL policies. For instance, a dry cleaner or something might have a, a CGL insurance policy that covers all kinds of liability that the business might face. And sometimes that includes accident cases. Often CGL policies are written for one or two million dollars. Umbrella policies are fairly rare, but we have seen them. An umbrella policy is a type, typically, is a type of personal auto insurance coverage. And it covers all, uh, on top of or above a personal liability policy. For instance, someone who wanted to have a lot of liability insurance might carry $500,000 in liability coverage and then can have a $2 million umbrella on top of that in case the underlying $500,000 policy wasn't enough to cover the damages arising from a collision. Last, we have resident relative coverage, and this can matter in a couple different ways. Um, in the context, it most often applies in the context of UM or underinsured motorist coverage, but it can apply in rarer cases um, in the context of an at-fault driver's liability coverage. And resident relative uh, means just what it sounds like. Your resident relative is, so, is someone who resides with you and is related to you. Uh, that can be a spouse, because you're related by marriage, or it can be a mother or a child. And typically what that means is that, um, let's say I was in a collision, and I lived with my father, who had a different insurance policy than me. And let's say my father and I both have UM, or underinsured motorist coverage. If I was in a collision and I was hurt and I needed to use my own UM coverage, and I used that up, and that I still needed more coverage, but there wasn't enough in my own policy, then I could use the UM policy of my father if he lived with me because he would be a resident relative. So sometimes that's a way to expand insurance coverage if the injuries are serious, but the coverage is inadequate.